Old Crawhan Man is one of hundreds of Iron Age mummies found scattered in the bogs of Northern Europe. Graubau Man, throat slit from ear to ear. Eda Girl, strangled and stabbed. Vierding Men, stabbed and disemboweled. By all appearances, most met a violent end. Many saw these mummies as criminals, executed for crimes against society. But today, archaeologists see something far more complex. A harsh world wrought with uncertainty, foreign invasion, and premature death. This is the story of little-known rituals from a pre-Christian time, superstitions, and what to us is the most taboo of rites, human sacrifice. The bog bodies themselves hold the answers. The bog bodies are accidental mummies, preserved in layers of peat formed by the bog. Christian Fischer, director of the Silkborg Museum in Denmark, thinks that understanding the bog is crucial to figuring out what happened to the mummies. Here we have a really good example of how the bog was built or how the bog was before. Most part of it was cut away during this period of peat cutting here. They put on two to four millimeters every year. And you could follow it down, you could see these different kind of layers representing a wet periods, warm period of our climate. And when you reach the bottom of the bog, you are perhaps two or three thousand years behind now. Here we have the sphagnum moss. And while it lives, uh, it gives a little bit of acid which comes down into the bog water and all together makes the bog water acid containing and in a complicated way it makes the bog water uh, antiseptic so we can preserve. So uh, this sphagnum is really the secret behind the bog bodies. Six to eight feet down is the Iron Age layer where most of the bodies are found. The bodies became mummies through a complicated process. Many of them were placed in shallow graves. Cold water seeped in rapidly, and people probably covered the corpse further with peat. Once immersed, the body was preserved by bacteria killing acid courtesy of the sphagnum moss in the water. Layers of plants sealed the body into an oxygen-free world. The result, nature has preserved many of these bodies better than any Egyptian mummy.